transportation of oversized cargo has always been a major problem for logistics. The physical limitations of railroad tunnels, narrow roads, low bridges, and power lines, etc., can render conventional overland shipment virtually impossible. This proved particularly problematic during the early years of America's space race, when large rocketry components destined for Cape Kennedy had to be shipped by barge via the Panama Canal or Gulf of Mexico. That was the genesis of the guppy fleet of aircraft by Aerospace Industries or ASI. It is the predecessor to oversized air cargo. Let's dive in to some of the most important oversized aircraft for cargo operations today. The Super Guppy was first produced by ASI in 1962 and featured a lower deck made from a Boeing C-97J turbo stratocruiser, equipped with a cargo bay that measured 25 feet in diameter. The wings and tail of the plane was re redesigned, and four Pratt and Whitney turboprop engines powered the plane. It could carry a maximum payload of 24,000 kilograms, and its top speed was 300 miles per hour. The plane's front fuselage was opened sideways to receive oversized cargo such as NASA's rocket components. This meant that the airplane's hydraulics and electronics were disconnected during loading or unloading. A second model, the Super Guppy Turbine, was produced from the ground up with four Allison turboprop engines installed. Its wingspan is 156 feet and the fuselage is 143 feet long and 37 feet tall. The internal cargo bay measures 25 feet in width and height and 111 feet in length, providing 39,000 cubic feet of space. The aircraft traveled at a top speed of 290 miles per hour. Four such planes were produced, with only one currently in NASA service. These were built by Airbus, UTA Industries in France, and the European Space Agency. While these aircraft were used for many operations involving oversized cargo for Airbus, the current Super Guppy exclusively transports NASA's oversized components for its missions. When Airbus decided to retire the Super Guppy planes, it still needed a replacement to carry aircraft components across Europe. Thus, the Airbus A300-600ST Super Transporter was born. It is commonly known as Beluga due to its shape resembling the eponymous whale. It was developed between 1992 and 1999, and five planes were built. These aircraft shared the same landing gears, general electric engines, wings, as well as the lower part of the fuselage as the Airbus A300. While these have been in service for 20 years, Airbus has now brought out an upgraded version of the Beluga in January 2020. The Airbus A330-743L Beluga XL. Both planes are used as dedicated Airbus transporters for large components. The Beluga XL is based off Airbus's A330 aircraft and can be operated by a crew of three. Both the Beluga and the Beluga XL shared similar cargo loading procedures. The fuselage was divided into upper and lower decks, with the cockpit present in the lower deck. This allows the plane to open its upper fuselage upwards without disconnecting its hydraulics, electronics and other systems. The Beluga XL 
has a maximum takeoff weight of only 227,000 kilograms, which is less than some of its competitors. However, it has the most voluminous cargo hold of any plane, a massive 2,209 meters cube of space. The aircraft is 63.1 meters long and has a wingspan of 60.3 meters. It can travel up to 4,300 kilometers with a maximum payload of 50,500 kilograms and has a cruising speed of 737 kilometers per hour, which is made possible thanks to a pair of powerful Rolls-Royce Trent 700 engines. Airbus is one of the two giants in the field of commercial passenger and cargo planes. The other is Boeing. Boeing developed its own dedicated air transporter in 2007, the Dreamlifter. This plane was based on the Boeing 747-400, and four of them currently serve the company. Boeing equipped the Dreamlifter with swingtail doors for easy loading and unloading of the aircraft via the back. It was designed to transport fuselages and other components of Boeing aircraft particularly the 787 Dreamliner. While its cargo hold volume of 1,840 meter cube is second only to the Airbus Beluga XL, the Dreamlifter has a higher mid maximum takeoff weight of 364,235 kilograms, a longer range of 7,800 kilometers, a heavier payload of 113,400 kilograms, a larger wingspan of 64.4 meters, a longer body of 71.68 meters, and a faster cruise speed reaching 878 kilometers per hour. While some of the most voluminous oversized cargo planes are made by commercial manufacturers, militaries around the world also use air cargo for transporting men and oversized machines to the front lines. The largest military cargo plane was developed by Lockheed Martin for the US Air Force in the 1960s, the Galaxy C-5. There were a total of 131 of these aircraft built until the 1980s. The Galaxy C-5 has a maximum takeoff weight of 417,305 kilograms and can hold a maximum payload of 127,459 kilograms up to a range of 11,705 kilometers in its cargo hold, measuring 880 cubic meters. It is 75.31 meters long, has a wingspan of 67.89 meters, and is powered by four powerful General Electric TF-39 turbofan engines that can collectively provide 73,800 kilograms of thrust. This means that it can take off from short strips of runway, even at max payload, which is helpful in military applications. The upper deck houses six cockpit crew members, a relief crew of seven members, eight dignitaries or careers, 73 troop members, and two loadmasters. Its cruise speed is 869 kilometers per hour, and it has the ability to refuel while flying. The aircraft can open its nose upwards and deploy a ramp while its front landing gear kneels down to load or unload cargo. It also has rear doors that can be used to load and unload cargo as well as allow for parachute drops of men and machines behind enemy lines. In 1985, the USSR was building the largest and heaviest cargo plane ever built. That plane was the Antonov 225, also known as Emria or Dream in Ukrainian. It was originally designed to carry the USSR's space shuttles, the Buran, after the fall of the USSR, the only plane that was built was grounded for a decade before resuming operations as a cargo carrier for Antonov Airlines 
based in Hostomel Airport in Kiev, Ukraine. The aircraft had massive dimensions. Its maximum takeoff weight was 640,000 kilograms, and it could carry a payload of 250,000 kilograms up to a range of 15,400 kilometers in its cargo hold that had a volume of 1,300 cubic meters. It had the largest wingspan of any aircraft at 88.4 meters, and it was also the longest aircraft at 84 meters. The commercial freighter could travel at a top speed of 800 kilometers per hour and had six Progress D-18T turbofan engines, the most ever fitted in a plane. Its landing gear had a total of 32 wheels in order to support its massive weight. During the 2000s and the 2010s, it was regularly chartered for oversized and project cargo. Unfortunately, it was destroyed in February 2022 during the ongoing conflict in Ukraine.